Happy Thursday, team. Mortgage Mark, we got uh, some bad news this morning in terms of inflation, which kicks us in the gut from a rate standpoint. The only, quote, good news, air quotes, good news about this is we've been saying it's coming. We know it's coming. Uh, rates are going to continue to increase, in my opinion, for the next probably 60, 30, 60 days. But the good news is we're at least seeing, I think, some. Uh, there's some light at the end of the tunnel after, after today. So let me show you what I mean by this, guys. Um, as far as rates, you can see the downward trend, right? Remember, down is bad, guys. Green is good, red is bad. You can see that we we got beat up. You know, but here's kind of where rates just took a beating a couple of weeks ago. We made a nice little comeback, and then this week and the end of last week, uh, a lot of it's because of the UK and just issues they've been having with their own what they call their guilt. Uh, that's like the equivalent of their ten-year treasury. Uh, they're kind of bipolar, they're like, oh, we're gonna sell them, which is bad. And they're like, oh, just kidding, because the market freaked out, we're buying them. So they've been going a little two-faced and trying to, you know figure out what they're doing. But for us, look at today. Look at this one long candlestick over here on the right, this last one. When when I when I opened up this morning after the CPI number, uh, which I'll explain in a second, we were down 130 basis points. That is bad. That is on a normal day 13 to 18 is kind of normal. So to be down 130, the good news is the market's starting to calm down a little bit, but it's still not a good day for rates. So what is the CPI, guys? Uh, it's one of the two major gauges of inflation. There's simply three, the producer price, but for from a consumer standpoint, uh, the CPI is the Fed's favorite measure of it. The PCE, I think, is a little better. But here's what is, we've been saying. Inflation, I think, is going to peak. I think next month's going to be the high report. And I think after that, we're going to hopefully level out and even in decrease here at the end of the year, beginning to next from an inflation standpoint. Remember, inflation's bad for mortgages, bad for bonds, mortgages, anything where it's a fixed rate. So if I'm going to loan you money uh, for 30 years, and inflation's at 8.6 percent, or I get technically now it's you know 8.2, but if inflation's at 8.x, and I'm giving you money for 30 years at 7.x, that's I'm losing money, right? So here's what here's what the graph is. You guys have seen this many times. We've shown it in our weekly updates. Inflation, the CPI, the Consumer Price Index, it's a 12 month number. So the reason why we knew inflation will continue to go up despite headlines saying, oh maybe it's peaked. Guys, look at last July, August, and September on the left and the yellow. <clears throat> Those numbers were really, really low. So like, for example, this last September, the report that came out today in October, last month is what it's reporting. Last month, the number came in at 0.6. Well, if a 0.6 is replacing a 0.3, clearly the number as a whole for the 12 months is going to go up. So that's why we knew inflation was going up. Most, well, suspected it and we were correct. Right, but now look, look at last October. This is this is the report that's going to come out in a in 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 November. November's report last October was a 0.6. If everything stays like it is, we're at 0.6 replaces a 0.6. I mean, inflation goes flat. But remember, guys, the Fed's going to meet again in November and December. Most likely going to be raising rates in both those meetings and the rate increases they've already done. It takes 12 months to cycle through the economy. So. Now that you see October, November, December, January of last year, and even February, we're all 0 0.5, 0 0.6s, you're going to see that those numbers are going to flatten out inflation, which will help our rates. And as soon as the Fed's, you know, things are slowing down, people are seeing it, people are feeling it, uh, goods are no longer quite as hard as they used to be to get. So that, that in combination with a slower economy will have inflation come down, which is why our rates will come down next year. Uh, I even saw an article uh, a couple of weeks ago, Fannie Mae predicted four and a half. I've been saying for six months on these updates, I think rates are going back in the fours next year. So 12 to 24 months from now, uh, things are going to come back. So if somebody's buying a house today, it is a great time to buy because there are people that are on the sidelines. Either they can't afford it or they're scared of the rates. It is a great time because there's fewer buyers. I still think the housing market will appreciate here in Dallas for worth. So I think it is a great time. Fannie Mae, or Freddie Mac, pardon me, FreddieMac.com. This was in the morning. This is before the news. It shows 6.92 for rates. So 7% for your rate with one point, 0.8 points, technically. So rates are in the sevens, guys, uh, with points to be in the sevens. So just know that it stinks. Nobody likes it. It's not fun. But at the end of the day, this is OK, because rates can and will be coming down soon. Um, so long story short, here's some other graphs. But you can kind of just see the, you know, when they talk about the prices, again, as we've talked about, it's still appreciating. Yes, inventory is still not back, you know, to the norms for here in Dallas-Fort Worth. There's still a shortage of what's out there. But long story short, guys, um, 
you know, we were, it's still a good time to buy. Like I said, here's the inventory, you know, as far as the number of offers received, look again, just because the sales activity is down, doesn't mean the inventory is like massive, right? It's still a shortage by historical standards. Um, we're currently at a 3.2% supply, right? So historically, I think if I'm not mistaken, you realtors out there can tell me if I'm right. I think a balanced market is close to six months. So we are still there in terms of needing to sell stuff. So historically, again, low inventory. I know I'm a broken record, but these are some cool graphs. I'm not trying to speed through them, but if you like them, you can stop and take a look at them. Um, and then lastly, you know, for real, realtor.com, just, this is just proof that, again, house prices are still going up. While the number of listings is down 17%, check the prices. You're still double digit. It is crazy. Six days slower is not a massive housing recession, guys. It is still a great time to buy. Yes, the rates stink, but they will get better. So if you move in today, you get today's housing price, knowing that you're going to redo the mortgage down the road. So if you guys need anything from us, we'd certainly love to have you, you know, reach out to us. Let us know what we can do for you. Uh, call us. We'll be around this weekend. My wife, for those that do know, uh, she just got done with a full knee replacement. I know at a young age, it stinks, but hopefully this one will stick. This is the third one in 18 months. So thank you for any well wishes and thoughts and prayers. Uh, but the doctor called just a little bit ago and she's doing great. So I'm about to go see her. I'll be a little out of pocket here midday, but I appreciate you guys. And uh, as always, when you think mortgage, think Mark.